In this tutorial, we will learn how we can collect data from an API periodically. So how I did that, uh, I have done that like I have created a model here, you see name and temperature and I have created a function here in this function actually I will write all the things like collecting data from API or other things. Okay. So then what I did in the security file, I have given the permission and then I have created two, one menus. One is parent menu and uh, another is the sub menu of that parent menu. And then what we have done in the views, I have just created a tree view and a form view, form view and that then the action. View, okay. So that action will be called from the menus and this action in the. Okay. So then I in the manifest, I just uh, reference their names here so that they can uh, call. Okay. That's it. Now uh, go to the model and in here I will write the Python code. So before that I want to go to the postman. So in the postman you see I have already called an API. So from where I collected this API I will give the link in the video description to see the headers. There are two keys. But uh, the nicest thing is that you don't have to write the code by yourself. Uh, so already Postman did that for you. What you have to do, you have to just click on the code section. In the code section, you will find the full code API code where you, how you will write the code to get the data from the API. So what you have to do, you have to copy this code. And you have to paste it in our function here. So I'm going to paste it here and i'm going to give that indentation okay so this is all uh, the import request should not be in the function what you have to do you have to remove this line and import it in the top so i have already done that now what you have to do i have to just uh, make it beautify okay so this is the url of our api and uh, header already in there and all things are fine so what we have to do in here we have to change a bit i don't want the response as a text i want it as a json so what i will do i will like write data here okay that is already given so data response as a json okay so in this data we know that all the fields will be there okay so i'm going to go to the postman now and call this so here you see in the location field there is a name of the place or region so we have to go to the location first and write the name of the place so i'm going to do in the london you see in the create function so in the london i will write here data dot okay you can give dot and you also can provide like this which is called location and you can put it as a name there so that's it now what do you have to do go to the postman again and uh, in the postman if you see uh, in the current section there is a temperatures also which is in a celsius check that out okay so this is the temperature as a celsius i'm going to copy this in the current section so i'm going to go to the code now i'm going to write here in that data current section and temperature c and i'm going to save it okay then i'm going to run this run my program so what i will do i will restart and go to one okay so the program has been restarted I'm going to just uh, refresh this the refresh is done i'm going to create and like scheduled action so from where i will uh, create that you have to go to the settings first and uh, in the setting go to the technical and there is a section called automation I'm going to go to that automation section this is the automation section and here you have to click on the scheduled action so you have to create a scheduled action okay so weather update weather update and i'm going to select the model i want which is weather selected so uh, let's it is month once so number of calls uh, let's say 10 or 15 whatever it is priority is 5 and uh, repeat missed you don't have to do that 
in here what we have to do we have selected the model so first what we have to do we have to write the model and the function name so what is our function name our function name was weather data I'm going to copy this weather data function and i'm going to go to the I'll go to the section here press it here and this. so what it will do whenever we are calling this function calling this scheduled action so it will call the function okay then that function will execute okay so i'm going to save it and what i want to do now i want to run this manually so run this manually run so i'm going to go there and press the space so you see it is uh, collecting the data now okay even if i run this again so another data will be created this section is created the second data as well so now what i want to do i want to collect the data like putting here let's see what it is giving here so i'm going to save it and put the pc bring back here weather section run it manually and run back. so it is plus 35 is the temperature so this is how actually it is worked thank you so much